Hey everybody, welcome back. We are picking up where we left off on this desktop mini and we are about to wire up the crossover. So what we've got here is an input right here and that's the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna run a hot wire, which is gonna be red. And what we wanna do is we wanna set this next to it here so that we've got a good idea of just how long we need it to go. So in this case, I got two connectors on the back of the speaker here. We're gonna do two connectors and binding post cups. We're gonna kind of parallel those. So what I need is enough wire to go out the tube connector and give me a little slack and straight down to the bottom here to where this crossover is gonna be mounted. And we're gonna mount that. We're gonna connect it right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut one off and then while I'm at it, since I've already measured it, I'm gonna cut one off for the other speaker that we'll get to in a little bit. And we're gonna strip off a little bit of wire here on the end, just like that, and toss that. So we're gonna twist this together right here, and then we're gonna solder it on there. And that's all there is to it. I like to just get a hold of it with one pair of pliers and then grab it with the next set and really just twist it together. Remember the connection is, whoop, that didn't work. Let's do it again. The connection is the wire twisted together. It is not the solder. So what I need to do is make one more lap around it there to twist it together. I kind of cut it short and let go of it. Maybe this time it won't fly apart. There we go. That's the input on it. So next we're gonna heat up the soldering iron. Remember, we're gonna get the soldering iron. We're gonna clean the tip. That means I'm gonna brush it with a little brush here. The cleaner your tip is, the easier it is to solder. So got a tip nice and hot. We're gonna grab our solder, which disappeared on us. Where did the solder go? Oh, here we go. And we wanna get a little solder on the tip we always want to kind of be away from it. We don't throw a little smoke off of it. It's a little flux smoke to get in our faces. So I usually try to keep my face away from it. And that's all there is to it. We've just soldered all that together. And now we've got the input going to it. Next, we're going to have another red wire that's going to be the output. And that one is going to go from here to the woofer. So again, I like to kind of set it next to it. So I've kind of got a side visual of it. And we're going to connect here and we need a little slack to come out that woofer hole so we don't need a whole lot on this one but we're going to give ourselves a little bit of leeway so we can kind of set it on top of it or set it there in front of it to solder that wire on it so there's our woofer positive I'm going to set one of them over there for the other speaker and we're going to strip off a little bit of wire here i like to get a generous amount stripped off so we got a little bit to twist to and we're going to twist it on there. Here's the output from the crossover going to the woofer. And I almost got that one all twisted on without having to grab another pair of pliers. I'm going to give it a couple more turns make sure it's nice and tight. Hopefully it'll stay right there. A lot of times too I'll get a, a bunch of these twisted together and then I'll solder them all at once. But in this case I wanted you guys to kind of see how to solder all that on there. If you want, you can kind of lay it down or something so that you can get at it a little bit. I'm going to turn it this way so maybe you guys can see it a little bit. And we're going to get a little solder on the tip because that's going to help transfer the heat. And I like to start at the bottom, get it on there. We're transferring heat into it. And what we're doing is we're feeding solder onto the wiring so that it's completely coated. And now we have a soldered connection. Hope I didn't block your view too much. Now we got one more positive that we're going to put on, and that's going to the tweeter itself. So this is the lead right here that's going to go out. I'm sorry, this one right here. It's going to go out to the tweeter. So again, we're going to lay it on the side there, and we're going to think we've got to go from here all the way out the tweeter hole right there and leave ourselves a little leeway. So I'm going to cut that one off. And... I'm going to make a replicate for the other side. And we had a little bit left over. How about that? There's the tweeter one for the other side. So let's strip this baby off. Try to strip as you can see it this time. And we're going to twist it right onto this one. So again, I'm going to get my pliers. 
hold it on there and then just start twisting it make a nice tight twist and then let's get on it with another pair and give it a good turn or two to make it nice and tight and then one last connection to solder and we've got all of our positives to and from all soldered on and ready to go and then next we're going to do the negatives. I'm going to show you how to do that so that it is the easiest way to do it and we're going to do it in a way that it's continuous runs so we're not going to have a lot of breaks in the wire we're not going to have to cut and splice a bunch of things we're just going to be able to solder it right on so hopefully you guys can see that I know I'll turn it around this way so you can see it a little bit better we're heating it up and we're feeding the solder on it so we're kind of getting solder on it from both sides with the tip and for all you guys that think man I don't know I don't know how to solder well you just watched me solder it was real easy okay so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to put the negative for the woofer and on the woofer what we're going to do is we're going to tie it here which is in the circuit that means we're tying it right at the end of this connection here we're running a negative and we're going to run a negative from here right to that right to that contact and then on the tweeter we're going to run a negative all the way across because these two parts are connected together and we're going to catch them and go all the way back so we're going to have one common that goes all the way back but for now we're going to do just the woofer one and it's just going to be the same exact length as the other woofer terminal and that was i'm sorry that was right there so we need about that much so we're going to cut that one off we're going to make a duplicate to go to the other speaker there is our negatives and next we're going to do the same thing we're going to do a little stripping wire stripping that is don't get too excited folks i know all you guys sitting in your basements out there are going to get excited when i said that but you guys just hang on and we're going to twist this one together All right, and then I'm going to give it another good turn with the other pair. All right. And I'm not going to solder that one on there just yet. I'm going to do the tweeter return. So on the tweeter return, what we've got is we've got this long one that goes all the way to the tweeter. So we're going to, we're going to parallel that one. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to come all the way back over to this one. And then we're going to run... It all the way back to the start we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning there so we're gonna do something that's a little different in the way we cut this one we're gonna first measure it out using the other one and then we're gonna run right over here to it and we're gonna to connect to this piece right here so I want to cut a splice right out of the middle of this thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to put a break in the wire. I'm just going to cut a little bit out of the insulation right there in the middle. So we've got a little nick on each side, but we didn't cut the wire. Next, we'll take an X Acto knife, or you can take a box cutting knife or something, and we're going to strip that little piece right out of the middle of there. We just follow along there. Whittle it, whittle at it, scrape at it, do whatever you need to do there. And just cut that little bit of insulation off of it. There we go. And once we get that one side of it cut, then we can just pull it off of there. So now we've got a contact point that we can solder to, and we never put a break in the wire. We just made one continuous run from one side to the other. So we're going to parallel that tweeter when coming down. And then we're going to tie on to this one right here. And we're going to loop it around and we're going to do the same exact direction of twist that we did with it before. And then we're just going to give it a nice tight turn. That's it. We made one solder point, one contact point for the negative return. A little bit of a leg sticking out of here I'm going to grab. There we go. Nice and tight. And one last piece to solder, and we will have soldered all the wiring onto the crossover, just like that. It really didn't take very long, 
It really wasn't that hard to do. Last one. Just solder it right on there. We got a little bit more twisted together this time, so a little more heat's involved here. It takes a little bit longer. That's okay. That's it. The whole crossover is soldered together. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to slide some heat shrink up on this thing and we're going to seal all these connections. All these connections where we've where we've connected the parts, the parts are tinned, so there's no copper wire that's bare or exposed. All the wiring that we added though, there may be little parts of copper that may be exposed at the tips or maybe where we were soldering it on and that heat shrink is going to seal those connections and keep that from oxidizing over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide one down over this piece. So we're going to need to cut a couple of your white ones. And we're going to need to cut three red ones because we're going to cut one to go over each end. So kind of use what we're doing there to measure and chop them off. And we're going to slide that stuff on and get out the old heat gun. And you guys thought this was going to be hard. This is a good starter one. Good one to start on. Now we got it all sealed. Now, last thing. We're going to take the old heat gun, get a little bit of heat into it, and you just want to go around this thing kind of in a circle and heat that stuff up. You want to be sure when you do heat it up that you don't you don't stay on it too long or put too much heat on one of the capacitors. The capacitors are a little more subject to damage if you get a heat gun on. The rest of the parts are pretty tough. The resistors are designed to dissipate heat, so they're pretty good at dissipating heat. And the inductors are pretty, pretty, pretty heat resilient as well. So it's the capacitors you have to watch. In this case, we had no problem. And that's it. We're done wiring up one of the crossovers. Next is just we're going to twist some of the wiring together so that we know which way they're going. Like these two are tweeters. So we're going to twist those two together. Just like that. And we're going to go all the way up on that one, twisting them together. We've got two of them here. And one of them is the return for the woofer. And the other is going back to the input. So these two would be going back to input. So we're going to twist these together. And of course, twisting them together is also going to help cancel out some noise. It's going to make it less of an antenna. We're doing a counter rotating uh, twist on it. So they're or not counter rotating, but we're doing a twist on it so that they crisscross each other. And that's going to help alleviate some noise. So that is it for crossover assembly. So we're going to cut here. I'm going to go and Assemble the other one. I don't feel like you guys need to watch me do this twice. You can probably rewind the video if you want to see it again. And then we're going to come back and mount this in the bottom of the box and connect it to the drivers. We'll be close to having these playing here in just a little bit. All right, folks, here we have it. I wired up the other one. We've got both of them finished up here. So you can take a look at the finished wired crossovers. Uh, next, we're going to go mount them in the speakers and hook everything up that's going to be in the next video segment so that's it for wiring stuff up thanks for watching guys i appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you haven't stay tuned for the next episode of wiring up the desktop minis